eight Sophia the first centerpieces. First, we go ahead on Design Space. You go to your left hand side, you click on the images, and we type in what we're looking for. I'm going to type in Sophia. I'm going to type in crown, dress, and princess. That way, we'll find the dress here. And I need a crown as well. Oh, I have the crown. And we click on enter. We'll be choosing the images we'll be working with. If you uploaded the images or you had purchased them, it's best if you go here on your filter on your right hand side. Click on filter and I'm just going to go ahead and click on images and click on uploaded. Let me click on purchase just in case. And select the images. It's this image right here. Once you, you select your images that you'll be using, we go ahead and insert images. We're going to clean up, change colors, and size our images. We click on the image, we go to the top bar, unlock, and this image will be a 4x4. Four four. Click on the next image, and as well, 4x4. Four Four. I'm going to make them a little bit taller. I'm just going to make them a five inch tall. And next image, a five inch tall. So it will be four by five. Okay, set them aside. Now, let's go ahead and take Sophia, and I'm going to slice the bird and the squirrel, because once we do the print and cut, it will cut apart the, the bird and the squirrel. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them together. To do that, we go ahead and click on shapes, click on the circle, and we're going to slice the image. going to try to put the circle on the actual square the squirrel I'm sorry we're going to miss a little bit of the the foot but that's fine it's just a little piece right here we go ahead and highlight the image go to the bottom of the screen click on slice once you do that remove what you're not using which is the gray part take your circle and we're just going to reuse this circle so we can go ahead and let's move it. Let me go ahead and this little, let me zoom back in so you guys can see it. Okay, this part right here, this little piece was from his little hand. I'm just going to go ahead and get my gray circle and place that little piece right there. And again, highlight the image, slice. If you can't click it with your mouse, you just go right here on your right hand side. If you click on it, that way you can delete it from there if it's a tiny piece. Now let's go ahead and get the bird. Slice the bird again. Highlight the image. Highlight where you're slicing and just go ahead and click on slice. We delete that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, now we're going to take that little birdie and we're going to place that birdie on her hand. Let me go ahead and zoom in more so you guys can see it. See, the bird is touching her hand. And then we go ahead and 
take this squirrel as well. And we're going to place that little squirrel. With the image clicked, you go to arrange, send it to the front, and we place the little squirrel enough that it can touch right there. The dress right there, and we're done. Let's go ahead and zoom out so we can get all our images back on here. Okay, once you do that, you go ahead and highlight the image. We're going to attach the image and we're going to flatten. That way, when you print and cut, it'll print in one image. Okay, and let's size her again. Let's do a three and a, I'm sorry, not a three. It's a four by five. And we lock it, we set it aside. The crown will be a three by three, but first let's go ahead and I like changing colors. That way I'll know what color map to use because maybe I don't have the notes in front of me. So to do that, what I do is go on the right hand side of the screen And we go ahead and click right here on the top. You can do it on the right hand side of the screen. You can do it on top of the image. Once you do that, we click on no fill because this will be a cut image. This will not be a print and cut. This is an SVG. So when you click on the image, it says cut, no fill. And then you see here, no fill currently applied. So we go ahead and click on the question mark and we're going to just put a gray, a silver crown. So we're going to go ahead and with the image clicked already that you changed your color, we highlight the image and we're going to go ahead and weld the image. And I'm going to size it, which I want this crown to be a 3.5 by 3.5 and we lock it. Okay, we set that aside. Now for the dress, it's also all in silver. So for this, we go ahead. There's a piece of dress that I'm not, I, I won't be using. So what I do is ungroup, click on the image, click on ungroup, and then we go ahead to this image right here that it's already hidden. We go ahead and unclick that eye, bring it onto the, canvas and we X out of it. I don't need that part. Now we go ahead and highlight the image where it has your little question mark right in between line type and fill. Click on it and we change it to gray. That way we'll know it's all in silver. We highlight the image. We go to the bottom of the screen. We attach the image. I'm sorry, not attach. Oh. Uh, Yes, I'm going to leave it attached because I want this one in two sections because I will add some rhinestones here on the dress. Let's see, if you weld the image, that line will not be there and then I don't know where to put my rhinestones. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo. I won't have that guideline on the dress. Let's undo. Undo again. Okay, there we go. It'll still be in two pieces. I just went ahead and attached it, but even though it's attached, it will be in two pieces. Meaning, I will load my mat with my silver cardstock and the machine will cut it. And let's go ahead and resize this dress, which will be a three by three. And we lock it. And it will be as well an SVG, same as these two. Now. So when you click on Sophia, we have a 4x5 Sophia. When you look on your right hand side, it's a cut and print, meaning you will load your printer with 65 pound white cardstock. Your printer will print this image. You take that cardstock, you load it onto, you replace it on your mat, you load it to your machine. Your machine will recognize what it's cutting and then it will cut this image 
all around and it's the same for these other three images so i'm just going to go ahead and highlight these three images i'm going to click on group and i'm going to right here on the right hand side click on that eye where it says group it'll hide your images it does not delete your images from your canvas it'll just go ahead and hide them okay i'm just going to go ahead and highlight the rest because we're going to work on the sticker for the pillows let's go ahead and click on group and hide it as well now i'm going to select shapes circle and my circle will be a four by four and we go ahead and lock it okay once we do that we're going to go ahead and fill this circle with a pattern we click on the image and where it says no fill we click on print because we're going to print and then cut the circles once you do that we click on this black box this dark gray box right here and we select the drop down box and select pattern this pattern you'll choose the pattern you'll be working with these patterns some of them i it comes free some of them i have purchased or some of them i have uploaded I'm looking for a pattern which is a purple with some balloons. I can't see very well. Let me see if I can zoom in. Well, zooming in will not zoom in my pattern. Right here. Once you click on it, we wait until it fills your circle. Then we go ahead and get our text, which you click on the text tab and we type in what we want on our sticker. And we type in the name. It is very short. Let me just put it in the middle. I'm just going to go to the bottom. Click on the name, drag it up, and click on your text, select alignment, and select center. Once you do that, let me move this to the side. Once you do that, let me see if I can find a different font. Let me see what I'm what font I like from here. Okay, this is nice. Hmm. Let me go ahead and go to Cricut. Let me click on my fonts. See what we have. like this one. It's pretty neat. Okay, let me see how it looks with the background. That looks nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change these colors. I'm going to use a dark purple for this font. I might do a dark purple and white. Remember, you can choose any font of your liking, any colors. I'm going to do a dark purple. So with the text highlighted, I go here to the question mark and let's select our colors. I want it like just like this. And we go ahead, size it so we can fit it in the circle. We drag it to the circle. And let's go ahead and highlight the entire image and align center and it'll center it for you. Okay, once you do that, again, you highlight the image, you attach, and you flatten the image. Flatten in the image. Once you print and cut, it'll be one image. If you look on your right hand side, 
it's flat and it'll be a print and cut. Okay, we're done with our sticker. Now let's bring in Let me go ahead and what I'm going to cut first will be the sticker and the images and these. The crowns I'll leave to the end because the crowns I can't do eight of them on one on one mat. It'll be I'll be wasting the silver cardstock. I'm just leave that to the end. Bring in your images and we're going to click on make it. On this side, I'm going to choose, it would be good if I had another one here. Let me choose eight, see what happens. Circle, it's not in my liking, let me see. I need some of the images. It was way too many mats. Let me go ahead. I'm going to change it. I'm going to go back. I don't care. I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to hide the circle. And then I'll be back. I'll come back for it when I'm done with these. I'm going to click on 2, apply. And then these two remain the same. And then these two I'm going to click on mirror because we have double-sided uh, center pieces. Once you do that, you click on continue. Now on this side, you go ahead and choose the machine you'll be working with. Let's wait for it. While that picks up the machine. Oh, I picked it up. Okay. I'm going to be using my ear. And then we're going to go ahead and send to printer. So these I need eight because it's eight center pieces. And we click on print. Once that starts printing, send to printer again and we click on eight. For the mirrored images, again, send to printer and eight. Once all of your images print, we go ahead and select cardstock, 65 pound cardstock. I'll just leave it in regular cardstock. Your machine should already have in your clamp your blade. And then once you load your mat to your machine, you press the go button. Once you do that, we're going to go back to our canvas so we can go ahead and print the circles. Now let's get our circle. Let's see. I can't see the preview. It's not showing. Here's a circle. And then we're going to go ahead and click on make it. And we need eight circles. Let's see. I think two fit in the, let's say three. Three won't fit. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and click on two. And then what I do is, instead of me having all these mats going down, you know already if you've seen my other videos that I do not like all these mats going down here. It over it just overwhelms me. I don't know, but you can go ahead and if you, we need eight, we need eight circles. You can just go ahead and click apply. You can have all these mats here if you want. Then click continue, and you will do the same technique I'm about to do in a minute. I'm just gonna go put it back on one. I'm sorry, two, and I go ahead and click on continue. Let's wait for the machine. We select that machine that we're using. Oh, wait, not the maker because I'm doing another project. Oh, I have another tab open here because I am cutting. 
another project. Let's wait for it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit on cancel and go back so I can select the machine. Unfortunately, on this part, there's no drop down. Once you select a machine, it doesn't give you the chance for you to, you know, pre-select or select another machine. You have to just hit cancel, click on make it, and your copies apply. Continue, and let's choose my explorer. Okay, now we click on send to printer, and this is where I choose the copies I need. I'm going to choose four. Add bleed will remain on because it'll add a little bit of ink on the side, on the all around the image that it will be cutting. If in case the machine doesn't cut through, you have the option, which is to just cut that little bit that did not uh, cut through. And we click on print. Once it prints, you go ahead and stick it onto your mat, your 12 by 12 mat, and you load it to your machine and cut it. I'm using 65 pound cardstock because I ran out of sticker paper. Okay, let's go ahead and cut all these images and we'll be right back so we can go back to the canvas so we can go ahead and cut the crowns. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Go back to the canvas, we click on cancel, click on yes. And once we're on our canvas, we're gonna go ahead and go to the right hand side and hide the circle. And we're just gonna go back down here and bring in our images. We're gonna go ahead and click on make it. And I need eight of each. We're gonna click on apply. Then we're gonna go ahead and load our mat, our glittered cardstock onto the mat. What I'm going to do is, let me see if I can fit, I can fit more crowns here. I'm going to go to the third mat, click on the image, three little dots, move to another mat, and click on the mat you want to move it to. I want to save some glittered cardstock. Next. Okay, once we do that, we go ahead and click on continue. We're going to choose the machine we'll be working with. We're going to take our 12 by 12 glittered cardstock, stick it on the mat, load it to your machine, and I'm going to set my set the material to poster board because this is a little bit thicker uh, glittered cardstock. So once it loads, okay, once it recognizes the machine you'll be using, we go ahead and click on poster board. Then we load the mat. This remains the same, the same default. We go ahead and once your mat is loaded, we go ahead and press the flash and go button. Once you cut all of your images, I'm gonna go ahead and see you back at the table so we can start assembling these centerpieces. Okay, we have all of our cutouts. We have some crinkled purple paper. We have purple crinkle. We have our pink buckets, four inch lollipop sticks, and double sided tape. First thing, take one of your buckets, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the double sided tape. I ran out of sticker paper, so I have to use a double-sided tape, and we're just gonna go ahead and place it on the buckets. Okay, once you do that, just start removing the tape.
I forgot a piece of green foam. Let me see if I have it back here. I'll be back. Okay, I have the piece of foam and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it inside the bucket. While that glue gun heats up, I'm going to add some crinkle paper, just a little bit, doesn't need to be a lot, just to cover the green part of that foam, just to cover the foam. Just, you're gonna go ahead and stick it in here. Set it aside. We're gonna go ahead and take one of the crowns. And apply the glue right in the back of the crown. Well, I apply it on the stick. And next, go ahead and take one side of the Sophia of the cutout and then the other side. We're going to go ahead and place a stick also right in the middle. You place the glue, place the cutouts, and then go ahead and seal the edges with the glue. Okay, you have the first one sealed. Then you take the dress. What I'm going to do with the rest of the cutouts, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same technique as I did with this one. Okay, now that we have our cutouts ready, let's go ahead and place them on the bucket. This is pretty simple, pretty fast. We're gonna go ahead and grab the crown, which goes in the middle. And we take We take Sophia, which is right here in the middle, well, in the corner. And then we take Rabbit right in the back. And this one right here. And the 
prints right in the middle. Okay, there's your bucket right here. Okay, right there. Okay, what I'm going to do is finish the rest of the buckets and I will put a picture at the end of the video. Pray all have a blessed day and happy crafting.